Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's vocational series of MATLAB tutorials in YouTube. Uh, today we're doing a reasonably advanced subject in statistics and we're using a stepwise linear regression. So typically in this scenario, you know the uh, outcome, that's you know the dependent variable, which in this case is this column here, which is the hardening of the cement and columns one, two, three and four are in different sorts of ingredients so you're wondering which of these column one column two column three column four what is decided the optimum model to determine the hardening of cement now you could just put in all four and get an answer but you'd like to sort of get to remove the ones that aren't so influential so matlab supplies here a held data set and that's a heat of cement versus a mix of ingredients so that's the heat of cement that's the hardening and there's and i just typed hal there just to spit them out so we want to know which of these ingredients would you put into a model so here we go your model there stepwise linear regression the ingredients are the predictors, uh, heat is the y or the outcome, and then going forward you want to use a significance value, a criterion value of 0 0.06, which is 6%. So what happens is, it puts it, adds x4, yeah that's less than uh, 0 0.06, so it bangs that in. It adds, it doesn't add x3, because obviously that's not influential it adds x1 yeah and then it adds the x2 so that's steps one two and three are going forward and then it does some backward elimination and when it does the backward elimination just in a little comment here down here it later uses backward elimination and eliminates x4 from the model because once x2 is in the model the p value of x4 is higher than the default value of p removed that's the backward regression of 0.1 so just going back to here once you add x2 using the it then goes to backward and it says oh x4 is not that influential so the model then is y is approximately or can be approximately but a constant x1 and x2 x the value of x1 there the slope of x1 there and the slope of x2 there there are 13 obs the degrees of freedom is 10 why because it's a number of obs minus the number of predictors minus one so 13 predictor predictor minus one so 13 minus 2 minus 1 gives me 10. The R squared value is 97.9%. The R squared adjusted is 97.4. If you remember, the R squared adjusted takes into account the number of predictors. So you're trying to get a fairly high R squared without having too many predictor variables. And this is fairly easy because we've only got two predictor variables. This line here. If you remember, the default is that the outcome here, y, that's the heat of hardening, is not affected by this slope here and this slope here. So that's the null hypothesis that the, the here, the, the heat of hardening is not affected by any predictive variable. Sorry for jumping up and down here. What is the probability of that happening? What is the probability that the heat of hardening is not affected by x1 or x2? It's 4.41 by 10 to the minus 9. So that's very, very small. Usually the cutoff is 5%, 0.05. So 4.4 by 10 to the minus 9 is much, much less than 10 to the, sorry, than 0.05 so 4.4 by 10 to the minus 9 is much smaller than 0.05 so you would reject the null hypothesis 
So what we're saying in effect is that this model here is a good model. Or why is what do I mean by a good model? You could uh, be useful to work out the heat of hardening by using uh, ingredients X1 and X2. And this is supported by the very high R squared value. I hope that helps a little. Thanks very much for listening.